So for this video, I'll be discussing on factoring polynomials with greatest common monomial factor or GCMF. Greatest common monomial factor is the highest possible value of a number, a variable or a combination of numbers and variables which is common in this term of a given polynomial. So this is given by the formula AX plus BX plus CX equals X times a quantity of A plus B plus C. So if you're going to look at this formula, X is the common variable in each term. Now let's have here the steps in factoring polynomials using GCMF. So first find the greatest common monomial factor. The second one is divide each term in the polynomial by its GCMF. And the third one is combine the answers in steps 1 and 2 as a product. So to illustrate the steps, let's have here an example. Factor 8x plus 4x squared. So we're going to first find the greatest common monomial factor. So in here, you have 8 and 4. The GCF of the two numbers is 4. Then between x and x squared, the GCF there is x. So we're going to have our greatest common monomial factor as 4x. Then the next one is divide each term in the polynomial by its GCMF. So our GCMF is 4x, so we're going to have first 8x divided by 4x. So this is equal to 8 divided by 4 is 2. And x divided by x is 1, so this is equal to 2. And the second one second term 4x squared 4x squared divided by 4x the answer here will be 4 divided by 4 is 1 x squared divided by x is x so 4x squared divided by 4x is equal to x so that will be step number two and the last step will be combine the answers in steps one and two as a product so step one here our answer is 4x so we're going to have 4x times the quantity of 2 then plus second one is x So that will be our answer. So we have here another example. Factor 12b squared plus 18b. So you have numerical coefficients here 12 and 18. So the GCF here is 6. I can have this one as 6. Then between b squared and b, common here is b. So our GCMF is 6B then 12B squared first term by 6B so 12 divided by 6 is 2 then B squared divided by B is B so we're going to have 2B then you have your plus 18B divided by 6B the GCMF so 18 divided by 6 is 3 then b divided by b will be 1 so 3 times 1 is 3 so this is now our answer 6b times a quantity of 2b plus 3 anyways you can check your answer if it is correct by multiplying or the reverse process so we can just have 6b times 2b that will be 12b squared the first term and 6b times positive 3 that will be 18b so 12b squared plus 18b so this is the correct factor of the polynomial then let's have example number two here 
8x squared plus 20x plus 4. So we're going to first find the GCMF. So of the three terms, common is 4. 8, 20, and 4 is divisible by 4. So this the GCMF is 4. The second step, we're going to divide each term by 4, the GCMF. So first term is 8x squared divided by 4. That will be 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then x squared. Then the second term, 20x divided by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5 times x. That will be 5x. Then the last one, 4, the last term 4 divided by GCMF which is 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So our answer here is 4 times the quantity of 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. Then to check if the answer is correct, 4 times 2x squared is 8x squared, the first term. 4 times 5x is 20x, the second term. And 4 times 1 is 4, the third term. Then let's have our last example here, x to the power of 4, y cubed minus 5x y squared plus 15x squared y. So we're going to factor this one. So common here, there is variable x in each term. So for the first term, x to the power of 4, second term is x, and the third term is x squared. So for x variable, common here is x then for the y variable y cubed for the first term y squared for the second term and y for the last term so common here is y so x times y will be our GCMF then times we're going to divide the first term by the GCMF so x to the power of 4 y cubed divided by xy so x to the power of 4 divided by x that will be x cubed y cubed divided by y is y squared so y raised to the power of 2 then for the second term this is minus here 5 xy squared divided by xy this will be equal to 5 so x divided by x is 1 so 5 times negative 5 times 1 is negative 5 so the same and y squared divided by y is y then for the third term 15x squared y divided by x times y this will be plus 15 then x squared y divided by x y will be x y divided by y is 1 so 15x times 1 is just 15x so our answer here will be x y times the quantity of x cubed y squared minus 5y plus 15x so I hope this video helped you so thank you for watching and see you next time.